hello and welcome to our 1000ps.com YouTube channel. A tourer wants to tour, a cruiser wants to cruise, and a touring cruiser wants both. Just glide along casually and discover the world without stress. That's what it was made for. Just like the new Honda CMX 1100T to prove what it can do, it cruised through Portugal with me. In addition to impressive scenery and all kinds of culinary delights, the country also has countless winding roads ready to be taken under the wheels. A two-day trip takes me from Porto, past the highest point and geographical center of mainland Portugal, over some 600 kilometers to Lisbon. How does the new Rebel T perform on longer rides in different conditions? I quickly stow my camera equipment and warm on the jacket in the large hard cases, and off I go. The difference between the new CMX 1100T and the standard CMX 1100 Rebel is the additional equipment. The new Batwing style half fairing, which steers with the bike, exudes American West Coast flair and serves as a windshield, at least up to the chest. At cruising speed, the helmet is exposed to the wind, but this doesn't bother at a relaxed pace. And if it does, a higher windshield is available as an accessory, as is a luggage rack if you can't get by with 35 liters of storage space. The half shell fairing, panniers and mounts weigh a combined 15 kilograms and increase the weight of the bike by this amount compared to the standard CMX 1100. Nevertheless, at 238 kilograms fully fueled, the T is still one of the lighter cruiser models on the market. So, in comparison, it's not only easy to maneuver in the parking lot, but also turns corners agilely and gives a refreshingly light ride. In general, the Rebel T nevertheless feels very stable, which is partly due to the wheelbase of 15-20mm, the low center of gravity, and the 18 inches front wheel. A radially mounted Nissan monoblock 4-piston fixed caliper with a large 330mm single disc and a single piston caliper with a 256mm single disc at the rear provide reliable deceleration even on longer downhill rides. Here, too, the lower weight compared to the competition is an advantage. The very low saddle contributes to the good maneuverability mentioned. With a seat height of only 700 millimeters, even riders with short legs have a secure footing. The arms are typically cruiser high and stretched forward, the feet are on footrests placed sideways next to the engine. Long-legged riders in particular would like to have forward-mounted foot pegs here. However, these are not on board and also not available as accessories. On the other hand, the position allows for great lean angle freedom. Once you reach the first bend, you'll be pleased with the 35-degree lean angle, which makes it possible to negotiate even tight corners quickly without scratching noises. Now, and then you can hear those noises, but that's part and parcel of a cruiser. The heart of the CMX 1100T is well known, a 1084 cubic inline 4 derived from the Africa Twin. For the 1100cc Rebel it has been adapted, the flywheel mass increased by 32% and the exhaust system and valve timing changed. Peak power of 87 horsepower is available at 7000 revolutions per minute and torque of 98 Nm at 4750 revolutions per minute, slightly lower than the Africa Twin's 102 horsepower and 105 Nm. And these changes pay off, especially the low and mid-range pressure feels fantastic, and every meter is fun, whether through the small Portuguese towns or on the country and mountain roads. The Twin's response is a bit harsh, however, regardless of the mapping selected, but there are no annoying vibrations. Thanks to the 270 degree crank pin offset, however, a V2-like bass massages the eardrums. Bassy rumble, but not quite as voluminous as a real American V-twin. Stationary noise, 93 dB. The Africa Twin-derived electronics package includes several riding modes that differentially regulate throttle response and power delivery, traction and wheelie control, and engine braking torque. In sport mode, Power delivery is more aggressive, traction and wheelie control is set at low levels, and engine braking is set at high levels. Standard, and especially, rain regulate more gently, and the safety systems intervene earlier. The different characters of the mappings are clearly noticeable. The user mode can be configured, and the traction control can also be deactivated. Oh yes, for comfort, especially on longer stages, cruise control is also on board as standard, which works well. In the DCT version, the shifting behavior of the dual-clutch transmission is additionally coupled to the modes. Tip from me, since I like the standard mode for touring best, but the DCT there always shifts up a tad too early. I set the user mode so that I combine the throttle response, traction control, and engine braking of the standard mode with the shifting behavior of the sport mode. Show us suspension with a 43mm cartridge fork and twin shocks is adjustable for spring preload in both the rear 
and front. At 122 and 94 mm, the suspension travel is typically short for cruisers. Slight bumps in the road are absorbed well, but stronger cracks and holes are passed directly to the rider. Again, one can say normal in this motorcycle category. Nevertheless, one dismounts relaxed after many kilometers in the evening. If one did not sit in the second row, the passenger seat is very sparse and only moderately padded. Touring cruising or cruise tours you enjoy in the long run but rather alone in the saddle of the CMX 1100T. Honda offers the new CMX 1100T 2023 only in gunmetal black metallic. In Germany, the touring cruiser costs 11,960 euros and with DCT 12,960 euros. In Austria, it is 13,290 euros or 14,590 euros with dual clutch transmission. With many accessories X works, the Rebel T can be customized or made more comfortable. For more comfort on long trips, I recommend the higher windshield, luggage rack and heated grips. Conclusion, Honda CMX 1100T. The CMX 1100T is a dynamic touring cruiser with a brilliant engine, lush electronic features and low weight, easy to ride, agile and punchy. With batwing half shell fairing and 35 liter panniers, it invites longer trips, but its low seat height and playful handling will also please many everyday buyers. Thanks for watching and see you next time on our YouTube channel.